This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. Okay, bottle tops. Going to talk about bottle tops. Fantastic resource, come in all different uh, sizes. So, for example, this is quite a large one, which is very good because you can write large numbers on it. It's a jar top. Then there are plastic bottle tops of varying sizes, varying colours. You have the metal ones that are the screw top ones that are quite nice and deep, make good counters. And then the uh, metal bottle tops on the top of glass bottles. So you can put different things on them. So you could use them, for instance, you can put symbols on them and the children can build up calculations using them. Fractions, shapes, uh, numbers, and then pictorial dots, that sort of thing. So for instance, you've got seven and then you have the number on the back there. Okay, okay. so here's some activities that you can do with the children with different kinds of bottle tops. So starting with um, these, these are numbered 1 to 20 and we have a blank one that can represent a zero or can be your spare if a number goes missing. So obviously simple way is just straightforward sequencing of numbers going just one by one. So one, two, three, four, five, for example, you can get more complicated by introducing ideas of intervals. So you can multiples of two, two, four, six, eight. Um, you can challenge the children by maybe giving them um, a missing one. So ask them what goes in here. You could use the blank one or just leave a space and they've got to try and work out what the interval is. Um, you can go more complicated and say, right, okay, I'm starting at seven and I go to 18. So what's going to come next? Um, can make it really as complicated as you want. You can maybe say, okay, we'll go to 13. The next one is 15. So the next one is 18. So let's see if they can work out what's happening here. The next one would be what? Yeah, so they've got to work out, well, what have I added on to 13 to get to 15? So 13, 14, 15, I've added on two. 15, 16, 17, 18. I've added on three. So what's going on here? What could be next? Okay. Um, the other thing that these are really useful for is number bonds. Number bonds to 10, really important because if the children have a good grasp of knowing that one and nine makes 10, then they will then be able to extend that to know that one ten and nine tens makes 10 tens. So 10, 90 makes 100 and so on. So it's really important. So you can play this as a game and ask the children, right, I want you to pair up the numbers as quickly as you po as possible to make 10. So starting with one, what goes with one to make 10? One and nine. Okay, I'm gonna go with six. What goes with six to make 10? Four. What goes with eight? Two. What goes with three? Seven. What goes with 10? And here you can use your blank one as your zero. And then you're left with five. So what you'll need to do is to make an additional five to make your your number bonds to ten. Okay, coming back to the idea of sequencing, well, I've done them in ascending order, but you could also do them in, in descending order. So starting with 20, um, and then I'm going to go to, let's go to 13. So how have I got from 20 to 13? Well, I've subtracted seven. So if I want to subtract seven from 13, then that will leave me with six. Okay. So I've got going down in um, in sevens here. And obviously you can choose whatever interval you want. You can also ask the children to make up their own sequence and then to challenge their partner to see what it is that they're adding on or subtracting each time. So here, one child might make the sequence and then sort of ask the children, okay, what? What have we added each time? What is the interval or in reverse? Okay, so what have we, um, what have we subtracted each time? More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. 
Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.